Okay. Dee Dee Lynn, all the way in from where do you live now? Boca. Boca, Boca Raton. Raton. That's right up yes. the coast. Yeah. Yes. That's not far. 200 miles. Not so bad. No, not so bad at all. you come to Key West a lot? Mm, I'd say like five or six times a year. And you love Bobby Mech because they yes, the I best do. guest house in all of Florida. <laughs> this is the best. Is it? Southernmost point. Yes. Guest house, best yes, one. Yes, yes. We love it. Shameless plug for you. <laughs> Shameless. Um, so, okay, I did my homework. I threw the paper on the floor because I don't think I need notes anymore. <laughs> August 1967, you were popped into being a centerfold for, center for yes. Playboy. You were 19 years old. Mm -hmm. Not to get your age away, but there no, it goes. that's okay. Everybody knows. Everybody knows. It's okay. But what was bizarre about that, I think, is that you were the most, uh, you received the most amount of fan mail yes. ever. Mm -hmm. So they say. Wow. In the 60s. That's pretty 70s. cool because it really was fan Before mail. Before email. Yeah, it wasn't text yeah. or email. No. It was fan <laughs> mail. It was fan mail. Yeah. yeah. Any of the funny stories that stick out in your brain from the fan mail you read that you can mm, share? No. Can't share no. any of them? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can't remember half of them. Really? <laughs> they uh, were all nice. Though. You had a great time though. Oh, yeah. Cool. It was wonderful. And then again later you met, um, oh, this lady. I happen to have a book. Bunny Yeager. Yes. Bless her soul. Yes. Bless um, her soul. Brought you back again for another round of hey, what are you doing now, right? <laughs> what was that, 1996? Yes, I did a Playmate Revisited. Actually, I did a Playmate Forever in 1979, uh -huh. December of 79. Then I did a 1996 uh, May issue with Bunny Yeager called Playmate Revisited, and I was the first one of the series. Oh, and cool. Bunny shot it. We shot it down in um, Golden Beach. Cool. Well, Beach, I yeah. remember that. Yeah, in Miami. Yeah, my parents yeah. ran a security at Sunny mm -hmm. Isles, so all of oh, that was their strip. Yeah. Golden Strand, I lived there. I lived Castaways, there. all that was there. Sunny Isles Beach no. Patrol. Was I lived there. In the yes. And my dad owned a Seminole gun shop. Okay. It was a cover. He was a spy for the United States government. Wow. He owned a gun shop. That's why they knew oh. Bud Irwin, Bud Trail. Oh. Jerry Trail, the brother mm -hmm. of Bud Irwin. Mm -hmm was a psychological evaluator, they worked with a big page invasion. They did some strange wow. stuff. Yeah, a, a, lot lot of the, a lot of stuff went on. A lot of stories that Bud Irwin wrote, her husband Bud, mm -hmm. were about my dad. Uh -huh. My dad was a private eye. Bud wanted to be a private investigator. Isn't that something? Yeah, he was living through my... How long have you lived down here? Oh. Key West? Mm -hmm. I came for a week to shoot lifetime video for Fancy Fest of Airbrushing Girls, because I'd never been a Fancy Fest. Mm -hmm in 2005 and I got stuck here for Hurricane Wilma. Oh, how nice. Nine years. Oh, Came for a week, nice. nine years ago. I'd go back and get some stuff and come back down and then a year later I realized, oh, I've moved to Key West. Well, that's my goal, yeah. to retire down here. Well, you're so close. Yeah. You're Very. here all the time and you're almost retired. Well, What are you doing for work now? You oh, I, I have a website. Still? DDN.com. You got mm -hmm. all the old stuff out there? I got everything, oh, yes. So it's a great site. And I also have a mail order business, and I sell my photos from Playboy and, Great. you know, then and now, recent vintage, everything, videos, I have my own videos, I have my own business. Oh, cool. Since 1995. Oh, haven't I walked into a gold mine? Mm -hmm. See, I like that, I know nothing. Dee Dee Lynn's coming, cool. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute, didn't she work at Bunny Yeager? Yeah, when Bobby told me a few weeks ago, I was like, so you're going to love Dee Dee Lynn. Oh, she's so cool. I'm good friends with Bobby. Isn't she a trip? Yeah, she's great. I love, she, I love she her. She rolls this. She does, and she I'm friends really with does. Mona, the owner. Yeah, I love her, and love her, and love Bobby. Bobby. Yes, they're a great family. Been here a long time. Great, great family. All right, so I don't have my notes. So I threw them over there. Ah. Back to what you were saying, stuff you sell. So, this astronaut, Richard Gordon. Oh, yes. Yes, it is. That so is amazing. Is it true? It's all true. It's all true. My calendar went to the moon. And back. And back. And um, they auctioned it off for quite a bit of money. They said the starting bid was $1,000. I think it sold for like something like $3,500. $3,500. Yeah. That's Isn't nice. That crazy? For yeah. a picture from the calendar, from the yes. cover. Oh, oh look. look. Yes. We have delivery. Oh, well, thank you, Miss Bobby. We have a delivery of wine. <laughs> this is nice. <laughs> Just in case you need it, right? I do. So it, it's true. It went to the moon and back and was sold to a happy camper here in the United States. I think. I guess. Yeah. yeah. It would be fun to interview him. 
I, so I have you his pay, name at home, but you I You paid thirty five hundred dollars for a calendar. Just not the whole calendar, just your picture of it. It was um no, it was the whole calendar. It was uh, nineteen November of nineteen sixty nine, I believe. Two years after your debut. Mm -hmm. Or it might have been 68. Because they only talk about your picture. They don't talk well, about the rest of the calendar. I was, I was There's on the 11 other girls, right? Right, and I was on the calendar three times, which is kind of unusual. Cool. For Playboy. But That's it was good. nice. The first one I was on was 68, and I was on the cover yeah. as well. And then I believe it was um, 68 or 69, whichever one I went to the moon. Very cool. One of the two. Yeah. So it was three different ones. Oh, me. Yeah, it's all me. That's that's Playboys. that's just you're part of history. I mean, I you're, you're burned in history forever. Besides everything else you've done, that's besides just put it right Hefner. over the top. <laughs> yeah, and besides He's the a legend Hugh, himself. besides the Hugh Hefner thing, this is something that I would have, if I could have found Bunny Yeager before she passed away, I would have asked her. She passed away. She did. I heard. No, I didn't yeah, know well, that. about two years, a year and a half. Ago. Oh my. Yeah. This I did not know about. Yes, you did, and tell me this before the end. Now I probably should have. Mm -hmm. That's why it's so important. I didn't know that. Yeah. I was very good friends with her partner, her business partner, Steve Sullivan. Yeah. Glamour yeah. Girls then and now. They had the little magazine uh -huh. and the books, and I was all through the books. Yeah, I went to hunt her down to get her to come down to West, and I found out she just recently passed away. Oh this my gosh, you could have, it's too bad. You could have been able to work with us together. Yeah. And so she sorry. remembered me since I was a little tater. Mm -hmm. She was a wonderful woman, very difficult and hard to work with. Well, but she was serious. Very, very hard. And you know, she was a, hard. a woman photographer in a man's world. Oh, she was good. At her, she the was, time she was, was in She it. was bossy. Mm -hmm. She knew what she wanted and she got she it She got it. Yeah, we, 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 um, we shot so many photos and they were test shots for Playboy. Just goofing around. around yeah. And they actually loved them and they ran them yeah. in the May issue. Well, the question I would ask her, that may, maybe you can help. What's the difference between a playmate and a bunny? Well, that's simple. The bunnies work in the um, playboy clubs. Oh, in the restaurants, in the hotel, yeah. the bars. And a lot of the bunnies became playmates. But not necessarily. Not necessarily. You may be a bunny and not a playmate. You right. may be a playmate and not a bunny. Exactly. Uh -huh. And once you're a playmate, you're allowed to work in the clubs if the clubs were open, if you wanted to. Oh, okay. Because it's brought in business to have Right, a and a lot, of, a lot of the... Um, Bunnies became playmates because they were pretty, very pretty girls. Yeah. They wouldn't hire anybody that wasn't attractive. And for Savisa. Exactly. There weren't any ugly playmates that I can ever remember. Yeah. Not really. Yeah. They might have been not ugly. Maybe not as pretty as the next they one. Yeah. Yeah. For in general, they're they had to and have the something. And the bunnies. So I remember the Playboy Club in Miami because Dad had a bunny tab with all. He was a private eye and spy, like I said, all the time. We would always go. That we'd go to for dinner. You know, and we'd also come around with a little oh, bunny tails. Oh, you mean in the, in the club? The Playboy club uh, was fast. In Miami. I was one of the few children ever allowed it. You were allowed. Yeah. Amazing. Because my father wow. found Blue Hotel and the GG room. Wasn't it fun back in those days? Dad worked for Ben Novak. You know, the what murder. year was this? Uh, I mean, going into the seventies. Oh, that was a good era. So I was in my early teens. You know, starting on mm -hmm. teens. But what an interesting childhood to grow up in, you know. Mm -hmm. Yet, when this, here, we didn't talk about this yet. This is Cameron Jamaica, and oh, it's yeah. on Bunny Yeager, shooting all around Jamaica with my, my family. That's amazing. There she is. Yeah, she was so beautiful when she was I young. wanted to show that to the camera. There she is. She's beautiful. Yeah, she is. And look at her. She's she's doing, uh, yes. what do you call it? Uh, what do you call it? With, with the old cameras you used to have to get the oh, light yeah. setting. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It had to be exactly mm -hmm. this light yes. setting at this temperature and that speed and that. I mean, some of the shots she did, even the black and white, is just phenomenal. Yeah, she was cool. And we were, and I showed you earlier, what was it? It's in pink. That there is my, my, me, my dad, my mom, and her daughter. No. Oh, yeah. And, um, in Kingston, we did the whole thing. This might be Ocho Rios. We did the whole perimeter of, uh, of Jamaica. But in the end, I was showing this to Bobby. She couldn't put the book down. It's a and, and there's, it's not only just history of Cuba, but in the end, we're there with Sean Connery when they were filming the Gulf, the uh, uh, 
Double oh. seven, maybe. Mm -hmm. and, and Ursula Andrews. Ursula, yeah, she's huh? beautiful. Isn't that cool? Yeah. So Bunny's there shooting stills with them. Look at all this. I was unaware that she did this. All the proofs that oh. didn't even uh, get make it to the movie or anything. Oh, wow, that's a Ursula getting makeup. Ursula is so beautiful. Isn't she gorgeous? Yes. Even, even then, you know. Oh, oh, the bauxite mine. We were there. Wow. When this was taken, I remember be, her being on that ramp. That's where they brought the aluminum yeah, yeah. ore down. Yeah. Isn't that wild? These are beautiful pictures. Yes. Cool. Well, I'll tell you what. You're in town for a few days, right? Yes. I will allow you to hold this. Oh. And we'll talk it. before okay. you leave. Because it's stuck here you might know. And then maybe, since I can't get Bunny to sign it, maybe you could autograph the back, even though you're not in it. I You're a famous, famous I'm in her other books. Icon. I'm in her Glamour Girls. In her Glamour Girls is a good books, yeah. Cool. And, and we can go to your website. How do they find you? Tell everyone how to find you. DDLynn.com. That's it. That's it. That's so easy. My name. D-E-D-E-L-I-N-D. Dot -E 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 com. That's it. That's it. I memorized it. It's easy. Thank you. Thank you, Gary.